students should have an after school job or internship. Do you agree or disagree? All people should be vegetarian. Agree? Disagree? Should obesity be labeled as a disease? Yes or no? Why am I asking you all this? I am asking you these topics for a debate. Many of us have watched a lot of debates. We have been a part of the debates. And now what I am going to teach you is the technicality of a debate. How it should be done. Yes. So let's move on further to learn more about debate. And what all are you going to learn? You're going to learn what is a debate. The guidelines for the same. The format. It does have a particular format. The marking scheme, the sample debate, and as always, the practice questions. Yes, so let's begin with the flow. What is a debate? Debate is a process that involves formal discussion on a particular topic. A formal discussion. It's not formal. Hey, I said this, this should happen. It's not like that. You are having a formal interaction, a formal discussion on one particular topic. In a debate, opposing arguments are put forward to argue for opposing viewpoints. You are not going angry against that person. There are two teams. Yeah, you are opposing, you are going against their viewpoint. They feel it's like that. You feel it's not like that. So that is what you are going to oppose. You are going to disagree. Yes. What are the guidelines? Before starting to write a debate, the first step is to choose the side whether you want to write for or against the motion. So when you pick up a topic, you want to first decide whether you really want to speak for the topic, for the motion that do you agree or you are against it, right? You want to first decide that part of it. Then always try picking a side you personally will support and have more material information to write about. Very true, very obvious. You would definitely, now all people should be vegetarian. Do you think that's possible? So yeah, you will definitely go against it. And because you know that's a fact, that's a sort of a thing which is, it's a universal thing. Not everybody would, there are people who like to eat non-veg, non -veg, so who can stop them? So you will get more information, more material if you go against the topic. You will not support that all people should be vegetarians. You have a lot, you personally support that and of course you will get a lot of material. It is preferable to choose the side during the reading time. So when you get the question, now that time you don't have a team opposing you, right? So when you get the question, just go for the fact that, okay, I think this will give me more information. I can write way better because this, what we are going to do is we are going to write it on paper. It's not actually practically happening. Yeah. So you need to understand that. So you will write and decide according to that. What is the format? An ideal debate should consist of four paragraphs, which are they? Introduction or salutations, that's the opening. Arguments for or against the motion, you have to decide. The problem, the solution, the conclusion, and the formal thanks. So these are your four things basically. This is the opening, the uh, salutation and that's a thank you note. In between you have arguments for or against the motion. You have the problem. What is the problem? You also have to give a solution and you have to end it always with a conclusion. This is how the format goes and of course the formal thanks. So what is your introduction all about? This includes the salutation and the topic including for or against the motion. So how will it be? For example, good morning everyone, esteemed judges, honorable guests, respected teachers and my fellow students. Now I, so the name given in the question or XYZ, it all depends. Sometimes it's given that this person is arguing or speaking for or against. So you have to read your question at least twice to understand it properly. So yeah, if the 
uh, if the question holds a name, please write that or just write X, Y, Z. Feel honored to have been given the opportunity to speak for or against the topic and the name of the topic. So this is how your opening is going to be. Your introduction is going to be. Look, this presentation is there in your notes. So if you want to refer to this, you can go to your notes section and refer to the same. So don't worry, right? It's there with you. Moving further to the body, the problem. Yeah, we got the introduction. Now we'll move to the problem. This is the main paragraph or the body of your answer. Obviously, that's the main part, the main chunk. Always begin with the meaning of the topic or explanation of the topic in not more than a line. So what you're going to do, you have to begin with the meaning of the topic. What is the topic? You have to talk according to that. Begin and it should not be more than a line. Don't drag it. Don't stretch it. Yeah. Quote the issues. Put up the issues. Write down the issues. What are the problems? It is important to follow a sequence. Please go one, two, three, four in a sequence. Don't write one, two, three, four. I'm just telling you to follow a sequence. When you have a lot of varied points, different points, it is better you choose a few best ones. From there, you pick the best ones and write a line on each. In case you have very few already, explain them in two, three lines. So yeah, like always in any body of a creative, this is how it goes. Whenever you have the points, a lot of different points, pick the best ones and write two, three lines on them. Make sure you are clear with your thoughts. Only then will you be able to put in them into your words unambiguously. First and foremost, kindly make sure that there is clarity in your mind. Decide you are speaking for the motion or you are going against it. One. Once you have done that, then as per the information, you will put down the words. And unambiguously as in absolutely clear crystal clear no doubt at all zero percent doubt so that clarity will come only when there is clarity in your thoughts so this is what they're trying to tell you how it should be now that was the problem we spoke of for every problem there is a solution we all very well know that just in case you didn't please keep this in your mind whenever you face a problem any problem, anytime, anywhere, remember there is always a solution. Keep patient and look for that. This paragraph needs to be short and crisp whereby you are supposed to give a rational and practical solution for all the above problems. So in the previous paragraph, all the problems that you have quoted, all the problems that you have written, here you will give a short and crisp solution to every problem. And of course, they need to be practical solutions, not something which uh, like, you know, sort of a fictional thing. No, it has to be something very practical. In case you are not able to figure one out, keep in mind a few general ones. It could involve spreading awareness, campaigns, stringent laws and strict implementation, education, etc. There are certain times when such problems creep up, they come up, they come in front of you, but at times you don't have a particular solution to it. So in that case, what do you do? You come up with some common ones, you know, a few general ones, like you can talk of spreading awareness, you can talk of, you know, putting up campaigns, stringent laws and strict implementation. You have to do it. You are not supposed to speak on the mobile while driving. That means you're not. You have to strictly implement the same. Educating people and so on. Using a quote never hurts. It adds on to your points. Using a quote, it can general ones, it can be general ones like on working together. Every situation can be faced and solved if there is unity. So any problem that comes up, see for instance, let's talk about a problem in school, let's talk about a problem at home. Now at home there is a problem and all of you want to come together and get united. You know when uh, unity definitely wins. 
yeah so if it is a divide and rule structure nothing will happen but here if you all come together all the members of the house come with one vote come with the same vote definitely that house is way more lasting way more loving and peaceful so here are a few uh, handy ones wherever there is unity there is always victory united we stand divided we fall so they are telling you try to put up put up some quotes like this which are very very effective now towards the end the conclusion this part involves clarification of your statement and stands along with thanking the audience for being such patient listeners this paragraph needs to be short and precise precise as in to the point don't keep you know weaving up more stories in this it is very very small it involves clarification of your statement what do you want what is according to you and of course you are thanking the audience here for being patient listeners for actually sit you know sitting there and listening to you attentively just like right now you are aren't you you better yeah now of course it needs to be short and precise here also you could add some glitter to your art piece with some quotes like the word impossible itself i am possible so things like that uh, it's possible to do things like that so you can always end it up also with a very beautiful quote see so beautifully it is said you can add some glitter to your art piece that means the piece that you have written the debate that you have written can be way more polished it can be way more sophisticated how by adding such beautiful quotes now for doing all this what are the marks you score so the format you get one mark introduction of the topic addressing the topic mention topic for or against the motion that's your first part the content four marks now that is a chunk look try and understand it's not difficult to get these four marks it's definitely not difficult right now if you have heard me attentively if not you can again watch the video understand please try and understand one thing you need to understand the whole thing you don't have to buy heart anything once you have understood the topic very very well trust me no one can stop you from scoring the maximum in your creative writing i know creative writing has been quite a problem for most of the children but here is the solution like we say virtually is the key so here we are with the solution with the entire step by step explanation for you this is how you can score the best so the content takes four marks use hints addressing the issue current situation reasons in favor for or against possible suggestions all this what you will be doing which we've already discussed before will fetch you four marks expression five marks now what all in the expression grammatical accuracy grammatically your sentence needs to be correct obviously subject verb agreement tenses all of them prepositions conjunctions yes they do matter they do appropriate words and spellings you have to use the right vocabulary coherence and relevance of ideas and style the connection how beautifully is it going is it going in that sequence and the relevance what you are talking is it relating to the topic what you are talking is it going with the motion if you are for the motion whatever you are writing in that is it talking of for or is it supporting the against you have to make sure so all these put together fetches you five marks now let's total it up 1 4 and 5 that sums up to 10 marks now this is a 10 mark question 150 to 200 words using the perfect format writing the correct content and of course staying up with the expression putting all of these well together so this is all totally in your hands again it is not difficult
Let's get on to a sample debate. Now we checked the theory part of it. Now let's see how do we actually go about it. The policy of reservation of seats for admission to the professional courses is good for the deprived sections of the society. Deprived as in those sections of the society who are unable to get into such seats. So for them it is good. It should be there. The reservation of for such people should be there. Write a debate in 150 to 200 words either for or against the motion. Now you have to decide while we were doing this, while I was reading, what, what came to your mind? What points do you think will fetch you uh, more marks? What do you think is more uh, practical and will get you more information about the same? Think, think, think fast and let's go for it. Here it is. Policies involving the reservation of seats for the marginalized sections of the society have been existing in our country since a very long period of time. But I personally feel that this policy pervades the provisions of the Constitution of India, wherein the main aim of the founders was to create an egalitarian society. Egalitarian society as in where people deserve the equal rights and opportunities. They all have to be at the same level. So that was your intro. Good morning everyone. I XYZ am here to speak against the policy of reservation of seats for admission to professional courses for the deprived sections of the society clarity you are speaking against. It is high time the government changes its approach towards the system of reservation. Most of the seats in reputed professional courses are occupied by the reserved candidates. Most worthy and qualified candidates do not get a chance to enter good educational institutions because of these reservations. Actually, most reserved candidates are hailing from good economic backgrounds and do not need the reservation quota. Moreover, reservation promotes the concept of caste which is quite absurd in a learned society. So here you put up all the things that why are you going against the motion? You explained it in every way. When government allots reservation, it also encourages protests by other communities for being included in the reservation quotas. Every now and then, one community starts and pitches their voices for reservation by burning trains and buses, looting public property and damaging government buildings. The quota stir that started in February 2016 sought inclusion of their caste in the other backward class category which would make them eligible for affirmative action benefits. Now you see how you are explaining step by step how it all happened, how it all started, you are giving them the clarity. I would like to conclude. Now, let's look at this. We have four paragraphs, right? You started, right? Then you had the problems and the solution, right? And now you are concluding with a formal thank you. I would like to conclude by saying that the policy of reservation should be safely based on the right qualifications and merit and not on the economic background or cast of a person. Now this is your statement. You are concluding it with your statement. Thank you. Right? We said there's a formal thank you at the end. So did you get this? Did you really understand this? Again, it's there available in your notes. Please refer to it and base your other debate questions like according to the format. Of course, this is one topic, one particular topic. You can choose your own. I have something for you. Write a debate either for or against the motion. And what is the topic? Laziness and not bad luck is the only obstacle in one's success in life. Now, very true, right? Laziness, it is your laziness that is not getting you successful in life. 
it's not your bad luck so are you for or against the motion now this made me really smile because many youngsters these days are actually into this so it really made me smile so yes you need to speak for or against. If I had to say that, I would go for it because I can speak a lot on that. So yes, please begin now. Another topic, migration from villages to cities has led to the spread of urban slums. People living in these slums lead a miserable life. Economic disparity leads to the problems of law and order. Write a debate in 150 to 200 words on what? Solution to the problem of misery in the urban slums lies in creating jobs in the villages. Give them jobs in the village itself so that they don't have to migrate to the cities and lead such a miserable life. You are Suraj or Sarita. So you remember? Good morning everyone, I and in the previous example we had XYZ, you will put this name, right? So if you're a boy, use Suraj, if you're a girl, you can use Sarita, either, yeah? So this is how you are going to write down your debate. Please make sure you do justice. Target at least for eight to nine marks. A little here and there is understood, but yes. Don't go for five or six. Please don't stop there. You are very well capable if you have heard, if you have really actually attentively gone through this entire module, you are already capable of scoring eight plus. Yes, you are. If not, please watch this video. Once again, get the clarity in your head, follow the format, implement the points and fetch your marks. Yes, you got it. So, there are no tough opponents in a debate, but only tough issues. The issues can be tough. It's not that your opponent is tough. It's the issue that is tough. So, don't get worried about the person sitting there. You have to concentrate on the topic. Go deep, research, find the material, frame it. Put it in proper sequence, go as per the format and get your marks earn them learn the points and earn the marks good one right i just made it up so yes for more such detailed explanations of the various topics keep watching and keep learning